And in Independenceville, the testimony is actually the textile. It's the export. It's the thing that goes out and draws people in. It's a one-of-a-kind good. Nobody has testimonies like Dependenceville. Nobody has exports like Dependenceville. You know what I'm saying? Nobody can say our God is good all the time, delivers us every time, save me every time, heal me every time, and he's about to do it again. You know, that's a, that's a monopoly on the, you got the corner on that market, all right? Because you're the people of God and you live in Dependenceville. Even people who are outside of God live in Dependenceville. They just don't know it. It's not, okay, you can't become more dependent upon God. I'm going to burst your bubble right now. There's no way for anyone in this room to leave this place more dependent upon God. All you can do is become more aware of your dependence upon God. Yeah. Yeah. You can't grow in dependence. You can't move into Dependenceville. You're already there. <laughs> That's right. You just, That's right. It's a big concept. It's real simple. You can't move out. You can't move in. You're born there. You die there. It's there. All right? And you're actually never going to die, according to Jesus. So you're going to be there forever. <laughs> Get used to it. You may, maybe you should start celebrating the fact that you're completely dependent upon Father God. Yeah. Yeah. You should say, yay. Yeah. Daddy's got this.